What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 28 of our Millwall career here on Football Manager 20. And today, we've got a couple of games where you've got a Carabao Cup game, and then we have Leicester at home. It's going to be tough, of course. Away to Newcastle here in the fourth round. We could move on. I believe the fifth round is the quarterfinal, so I'm pretty interested in this at the moment, if anything, to get our rep up just a touch. Um, but last episode, we did rather well for ourselves and scored some goals. 3-0 away to Bournemouth and then a 4-2 at home to Sheffield. Hopefully we can keep that up today as we continue to go down the line. So today will be Newcastle Leicester. Next episode will be Newcastle in the Prem and then Wolves and then Tottenham Watford after that. And then I think we may skip forward a little bit to West Ham. Um, we've been rolling through here. We started out poorly in this spot where I wanted to really do well, but... You know, as we try and fight for survival this year, it's imperative that we go ahead and do um, go along as we're going right now against teams that we can get results from. But here we are. Um, let's see. What are we going to do? Hinman can play, I suppose. As I said, I do want to do well here, but it's also not crazy important. We can play Polina. I don't know. He cannot. He's a bit hurt still. When's he back from that? It should be soon. Tomorrow. Yeah, so we won't mess with that. Kikas can start ahead of Noel. That, since we moved it back to pressing forward, they've been playing a little bit better up front. Um, Grisicki, can he play? What do we want to do here? Who's tired? I kind of want to give Jed Wallace a rest. He's had a long year. We'll bring Grisicki in for that. And then Ferguson can play at left back. And then I think we'll keep the back two the same. Cooper can have a little bit of a rest, and Darlow can play. He hasn't played yet. And Mahoney can come onto the bench for Niguez, I suppose. And uh, ye I think this will do. Though, actually, Hutchinson hasn't played yet. We'll go with Finley. He had a pretty decent game last time out. And we'll give Hutchinson a run out here. So let's jump into this. Newcastle Millwall. Can we get another good result? We've had two in a row now. And since we changed the tactic just a little bit last episode... We've scored some more goals, so we'll see what we can do. Expected to pick off where we left off. That would be nice. Some more goals flowing in, but we shall see. A tough Newcastle team in a tough arena at St. James's Park. And hopefully we can cause them some problems lovering on this team. Shelby, of course, former Liverpool players, the pair of them. There's some good players on this team. Players that can cause problems as that gets clipped in, but dealt with easily enough by Ferguson and then Ferguson gets it out to Krasicki who does well to turn and he can move up this right hand side what can he do with it Shelby comes and tackles him off it and now Newcastle are on it and can they find a way to go the other way they get it up to St. Maximin who's got plenty of pace and he gets into the box and has his shot blocked we're going to have to watch him today he's a proper good player as Lachelle's heads over what we are going to do is right from the start is defend a little bit narrower and see if we can stifle those two right up the middle but we do have a corner right off the bat here Ferguson swings it in and is headed down Dowell's gonna get to it and he gets it to Hutchinson let's not lose the ball here he's done exactly that and Almiron is through on goal Almiron, what a block. Oh, I came back to him, of course. You knew as soon as Hutchinson turned his back that this was going to go the other way, didn't you? Dreadful from Hutchinson. I don't want to watch this again. Inexplicable. I hate that mechanic. It's 100% a mechanic thing. It has to be because players just kind of like hold on to their ball with their back to them and then lose it. And I have no idea what goes on here. Um or what goes on in that section. We are going to play a bit wider, pass into space, overlap on the left and the right, see if we can deal with them out there, distribute to the flanks, see if we can stretch them in a different direction. And Durham heads that right back out to Newcastle. And Shelby, St. Maximin's in, and that's a lovely finish, but he's offside, thankfully. That's a really good finish, actually. But it's not going to count. Can we escape just a little bit? Can we get something going? We've had nothing so far. No shots after 20 minutes is not 
what we want to see. What's going on here? Come on. There we go. They're on it again, Newcastle. We've had none of the ball so far. None of the chances. Longstaff has his shot blocked. Can we nick it forward? Not quite. Hmm. What if we go down to balance? Draw them in just a little bit more. And then try and move up the pitch with more men forward as that gets headed down. Back to Bartlett. And that's just past the post. We're not doing anything here. Let's try shorter passing as well because we've had none of the ball really. 40%. Not good enough. We've got surely got to be a little bit better than this. A free kick for Newcastle here, and it gets clipped in, and it's in the back of the net. Lovren with the goal, and we have been poor. Just, just flat out. There's nothing else we can say. Nothing else we can say. Just dreadful all around. Let's get some shouts going. Demand more. Just a little bit. We've had nothing here. 11 shots, 4 on target. We've had no shots. We're 35 minutes in. We haven't had any of the ball. Look at that. That's dreadful. What are we doing? Suarez gets it forward. St. Maximin is going to get onto this. And they're breaking quickly. And you know what? We just. I don't know. I don't know, it's 3-0. Focus play down the wings. It's This is poor, and we are going out of the Carabao Cup already. 3-0, I don't want to see it. We were making changes, but whatever. It is what it is, because we're <laughs> getting throttled here. We're having none of it. We've yet to have any of the ball. We're starting to collect a little bit more since we made a couple changes, but they're all over us, and it's almost as if everyone's just so timid. Look how far back everybody is. No help to the striker. He's so isolated. Ammon goes for goal, and he has that saved. We've been dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. What if we... Change. He is on Mazala. We'll go on Mazala attack. I'd kind of want him to get a little bit wider, but it's not happening at the moment. St. Maximin gets it to dumb it, and they're so tight. I don't even know how they're getting so much in behind us. I don't know what else to do here. This seems to me like the tactic you would kind of use, isn't it? We're th we're thin. They're playing very thin, but inexplicably they seem to have all this space and I'm not so sure what that's all about that gets put out wide Bartolech is on it and he gets to the byline clips it to dumb it he has it shot blocked and it's come back and Shelby's at the bar wow this has been dreadful absolutely dreadful what a half what a half Aggressive, absolutely terrible. We are going to take off. I'm gonna put shot on sight. If nobody's, if everybody's just holding on to the ball, poor touches to shots ratio in the box is something that always drives me absolutely insane. Just have, if if that's the case, then we're not doing enough with it. We're just holding on to it, and it's just all a mess. Here's Grisicki now. Can we? wake up a little bit. Nope. Gets it to Bartolech. Can you do something here? Hinman on it. And he goes for goal and it's over the bar. I already want this game to be over. Let's make a change. Let's get Ammon off. Bring Mahoney on. Why not? What difference does it make at this point in time? I'd like to keep everybody semi-fit. Todorovic gets it to Hinman. Can we wake up a little bit? Get a goal. There's Mahoney. Can he round him? He does. Gets it back in. Grisicki's not going to get to that. It's Dowell. Todorovic. It's a good ball. Mahoney does get onto it. Clips it back. Grisicki. Todorovic. And, oof, just into the side netting. That would have been a heck of a strike. We've woken up just a touch in this second half, but is it going to be too little too late? Let's get Dowell off. He's having a, a poor game, and I'd like him to be fit for the more important ones here. We have a free kick. 
Krasicki on it. He clips it in. It's going to fall down. Hutchinson. It's a free kick. He's offside. Oh, he was pulling him. Hutchinson. Put it into the back of the net. It would have been nice. He's on a 6.1 Hutchinson. This is probably his last game for us, I would think. He was already very touch and go and how many games he would play this season as is. That's Ben Thompson really should be doing better, but he's been awful today. Started that gave them their first goal. Not good enough. Half hour to go. Might as well go on attacking. What difference does it make? Lovren is controlling the game. What is this? What year are we in? Who do we have on the bench? I would like in I would like in Durham to be in a better position going forward. So that gets clipped in straight at Woodman. It's clipped forward. Ferguson does get a head on to it though. And Mahoney with a exactly what you would expect Mahoney to do. And then they give it right to us. Here's Todorovic. He plays a good ball into Grisicki. And can Grisicki do anything here? He gets to the byline and has a shot from the bloody byline there. Why? Why would you do that? Ugh. We're going to get Endurum off. I'm actually going to bring Ryan Manning on there. Can he play box to box better? That's so weird with Manning. I guess he's not awful for it, but, you know. I guess we'll play him there. 15 minutes left, 3-0 down. I'm not too, too worried about whether he's comfortable playing there or not. It's uh, not great, this. They have a throw-in now. Shelby. We've been much, much better this second half, but you wonder how much of that is us chasing and how much of that is Newcastle's taking the foot off the gas goes all the way back to their goalkeeper Lachelle's I really wanted to do well this game but we did make a bunch of changes and Hutchinson's changes it's been a poor one we could have just stuck with Finley we probably should have theoretically Finley and uh, Bednarek but we didn't and this is what we're dealing with as Shelby goes for goal from distance and it's been one of those types of games they weren't even in it in the second half, and they just come up the pitch when they like. I don't want to see any more. Stadorovic, Kikas. Can this game end? That gets clipped in. Out to Ferguson. He goes for goal and is saved away. It, it's one of those games, too, as you can see. They've created one clear-cut chance, and that's it. And they have four. It's uh, That's a good chance there for Hinman as well, but... <laughs> it's been one of them, one of them where everything's going in for Newcastle and early and we're making mistakes and, you know, Darlow had a really good chance to save the second one, didn't Hutchinson with that in awful, awful giveaway that's inexplicable, really. It's been one of those games, one of those, but the second half we've been better, but it's just not good enough. Just not good enough. Grisicki, that was Poor. Hutchinson gets it forward now. And now they're on it, but Hinman takes it. Slip back post, and Mahoney grabs a goal. This is first of the year. I don't expect too many to come from Mahoney's fifth choice, really, on the wing spot. But he's grabbed one here. It's a good cross here by Hinman. A really good cross, actually. That's a good finish, to be fair. Had to get up and clip that out. We've probably deserved a goal, but... You know, it's not going to make too much of a difference in the long term scheme of things. They have a late corner here. It clips in. No one's going to mark Lachelle's. And that almost went in the back of the net as a result. A free kick to Newcastle. And that will end it. 30 seconds to go. Really poor performance. Well, yeah, just poor all around silly mistakes leading to early goals when you're in a game it's different we had we were not I mean they were all over us and we were trying to make changes but when things are going the wrong way you definitely can't make mistakes we're trying to right the ship and we're making silly mistakes 
that lead to goals and you know that really really messes it all up doesn't it 4-1 the final Newcastle move on I'm gonna yell at these lads hopefully they'll wake up a touch and now we have to play Leicester and we have to be much much better than that was so let's jump forward to that absolutely awful <laughs> absolutely awful that but hopefully we can turn it around in the Premier League keep it going in the Premier League let's jump to the Leicester game there all right here we go Millwall Leicester Leicester have not started off the season very well hopefully we can go ahead and uh, compound that misery just a little bit we're gonna get Manning in here today Cooper as well but Cooper along with Bednarak um, though Finley's been pretty good last game everybody was kind of not great so we should probably move some things around Romeo can play and I believe this is how I lied Jed Wallace and Noel all right let's go let's grab a win let's keep our Premier League run going obviously our run ended there but um <laughs> you know we had one two games in a row but you know we're kind of just trying to once we as we said survive this season so you know any points we can pick up will be very much appreciated and this is one of those times right now where we can go ahead and try and pick up some points um and do something with it it's a pretty good team here a really good team actually Coop Myers is here as well. Chilwell Perez, a really good Leicester team. Why they're 16th, I will not know. Hopefully, though, we can keep on pushing them toward the bottom of the toward the bottom of the uh, pile. But my thing with Football Manager is, if good teams are good, they're still gonna find. I mean, when you're playing them, it feels as if they're still the sum of their parts. And not what's been going on this season so far. So we'll see. But ideally, we can do something. That's a really scary team to look at. There are some proper good players on here. But Jed Wallace making mincemeat of those defenders. Back to bed. Narak gets it out to Romeo. We clip it inside. Who's Jed Wallace? Gets it across. And Nola has a block. Comes to Bakuna Dowell. A couple of blocks in there couple of wayward attempts as well. Lalana's here also. Is Cavani's up front too? I didn't even notice that. I just assumed it was Vardy for a moment. God, there are some really good players on this team. How is this team 16th? They haven't had a shot yet. We're a half hour in. We've been the better team as Cooper heads that right to Schmeichel. They haven't had a shot yet. It just must be whoever's managing them and the way they set up for games, but... I don't know. That's crazy. But we've been the better team. I would love to take advantage of this at some point. Grab a goal that we deserve, probably. Manning clips it in. It's blocked away. And Durham's going to get to it, though. Here's Ammon. Out wide to Noel. And Noel has it put out for a corner. Can we get a head onto it? It's going to come to Cooper. And Cooper gets it into the back of the net. It's a lovely header. And the goal we deserve... And Leicester have a lot to do. they got to wake up. Schmeichel gets a hand to it, but can't keep it out. That's a good header. Schmeichel, as we said, cannot keep it out. We've taken the lead here. 1-0. Can we keep this up? Let's get the halftime to start. But no shots for Leicester that entire half. Very happy with that. I'm going to say there's still room for improvement, but I'm actually very happy with that. A second goal as soon as possible would be great. And hopefully we can keep rolling with that sort of stuff. Manning is going to get booked, perhaps. Yes, there is the booking. And the highlight ends. Still nothing. Lalana on a 6.3. There's just 6.3s and 6.4s and 6.5s all along there. We've got to do a little bit better. Kieran Dowell. Not playing too, too well. And they make three substitutions in one go there. That doesn't happen too, too often. We're going to make a change of our own. Get Dowell off the pitch. He hasn't played well today. 
That's all right. We'll get Bakuna in that spot. Thompson a little bit better defensively. We're 70 minutes into this game, and Leicester haven't had a shot yet. Very, very odd. A second goal would be very much welcome. We have a corner to do that. Judd Wallace swings it in. He's headed down. Uh-oh, and Cantwell's on it. And now he races forward. Is this the first shot coming for Lester? Gets clipped in. Barco, it's going to count. I thought he was offside. I can't believe that. I cannot believe this. I don't want to see that again. Come on. One shot? Is it going to go? Are they going to get a point from this game that they flat out don't deserve? We have a free kick here. Come on, let's grab this. Let's grab what we deserve here. Bakuna and Durham. It's out wide to Romeo. And Romeo gets toward the byline. And it's put out for a corner. Can we grab another off a corner? That gets clipped in. Cooper gets it down. Bednarak, and it's in the back of the net, and it's going to count. It's two corners. We'll take it. As they have des they deserve nothing from this game. They really don't. Nicely headed down, and Bednarak standing in front. Heads it into the back of the net. Two set pieces. Let's see. We'll get Noloff, get Bradshaw on. Also want to make another change. We'll get we'll get Ammon off and Mahoney on. Mahoney's got a bit of pace. Only a couple minutes left here. And there is a highlight. Four minutes of added time to go. Romeo's on it. Bakuna. We're playing good football here. Bradshaw does well to get by. And Bradshaw has it clipped, uh, clipped out. We're going to go down to uh, cautious for the last couple of minutes, but Mahoney's going to take the free kick or the corner and gets clipped in, and Chilwell's on it. And Bakuna is going to get to this. Can we recycle the corner? Clipped out. Very strange, that highlight. I don't even know if there was a shot in there. And now they is another highlight. I'm going to be devastated if Lester grab a point here. Chilwell on it. And gets by. Clip back. Cantwell, Shoutery. Moving the ball around pretty well. Gray, it's off the post. He was offside. Okay, defensive for the last minute. 30 seconds to go. Ben Chilwell's been injured. They're down to 10. Just blow the whistle, ref. Jed Wallace is on the sideline there. I don't like that. Out wide to Romeo. Let's clip forward here. Mahoney's going to get onto it. And there's the final whistle. Excellently done. Deserved in the end. A good win. We'll take it. I hope Jed Wallace is okay. I saw him on the sideline there. Hopefully that's nothing. But a very good win and another win added. And another win deserved to be completely fair. Goal and an assist for Jake Cooper. Your passing was a joy to behold. Very strange, but we'll take it. He's not playing too, too well, and it's a, too Aussie, and it's a difficult place for him to be, to be completely fair to him. Um, so we're going to have to, we'll see, we'll evaluate. Unfortunately, he's kind of just in one of those, I think Cadiz are bottom of that division, and it's tough. I kind of just wanted him to get some game time, but it may be going the opposite way. But here we are, after 11 games, 9 points, or ninth place, we're going to, I'm actually going to skip forward here a couple of days just so we can see how everyone's doing after 11 games we'll just go through Sunday but we've started really really well and we've put ourselves in a position here to succeed this season in surviving um, as you can see after 11 we're on 15 points relegation currently on 8 it's a good start to the season there's a lot of teams in between sitting in ninth place also means that there are 8 teams sitting in between us um, or nine really we'd, we'd have to be passed up by nine teams and that'd be a difficult difficult thing to happen currently but after 11 games you know a quarter of the way through the season a seven point lead we have Newcastle away next time of course but we'll see what happens there hopefully you know with our full team out there we can put up a better fight than we did in the Carabao Cup 
you know, they had a lot of things go their way also. You know, hopefully we can, you know, turn that tie just a little bit and that game's a little bit more even, guys. But I'm going to end the episode here. Norwich and Wolves draw. And we still stick in that same exact spot. Only three points off a of European place so far, which is pretty wild. But, you know, um, Southampton should beat Villa next time round, or theoretically. That'll probably put the gap up. But we're trying to we're trying to avoid relegation right now, guys. But that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.